pulmonary embolism what to know a pulmonary embolism is a blockage in the pulmonary artery which supplies the blood to the lungs it is one of the most common cardiovascular diseases in the united states pulmonary embolism affects around 1 in 1000 people in the united states every year the blockage usually a blood clot prevents oxygen from reaching the tissues of the lungs this means it can be life threatening the word embolism comes from the greek embolos mean, meaning stopper or plug in a pulmonary embolism the embolus forms in one part of the body it circulates throughout the blood supply and then it it blocks the blood flowing through a vessel in another part of the body namely the lungs an embolus is different from a thrombus which forms and stays in one part one place symptoms symptoms of pulmonary embolism include chest pain a sharp stabbing pain that might become worse when breathing in increased or irregular heartbeat dizziness difficulty catching breath which may develop either suddenly or over time rapid breathing a cough normally dry but possibly with blood or blood and mucus severe symptoms call for immediate emergency medical assistance more severe cases may result in shock loss of consciousness cardiac arrest and death causes a pulmonary embolism occurs when an embolus usually a blood clot blocks the blood flowing through an artery that feeds the lungs a blood clot may start in an arm or leg known as deep venous thrombosis or dvt after that it breaks the free and free and travels through the circular circulatory system towards the lungs there it is too large to pass through the small vessels so it forms a blockage this blockage stops blood from flowing into a part of the lung this causes the affected section of the lung to die through lack of oxygen really a pulmonary embolism can result from an embolus that is formed from fat droplets amniotic fluid or some other particle that enters the blood stream prevention a number of measures can reduce the risk of pulmonary embolism a high risk patient may use anticoagulant drugs such as heparin or warfarin compression of the legs is possible using anti embolism compression stockings or pneumatic compression an inflatable sleeve glove or boot holds the affected area and increases pressure when required compression methods prevent blood clots by forcing blood into deep veins and reducing the amount of pooled blood other ways to decrease the risk include physical activity regular exercise a healthy diet and giving up or avoiding smoking tobacco risk factors the risk of developing a pulmonary embolism increases with age people who have conditions or diseases that increase the risk of blood clotting are more likely to develop pulmonary embolisms a person has a higher risk of pulmonary embolism if they have or have had a blood clot in the leg or arm or if they have had a pulmonary embolism in the past long periods of bed rest and inactivity increase the risk of dvt and therefore increase the risk of pulmonary embolism this could be a long flight or car ride when we do not move much how much our blood pools in the lower parts of of our body if blood is moving around less than normal a blood clot is more likely to form damaged blood vessels also increase the risk this can occur because of injury or surgery
if a blood vessel is damaged the inside of the blood vessel may become narrower increasing the chances of a blood clot forming other factor risk include certain cancers inflammatory bowel disease obesity pacemakers catheters in the veins pregnancy estrogen supplements a family history of blood clots and smoking